Hi guys, my name is Andrea McCoy Harvey and my artwork was chosen to be a part of the De Young Open at the De Young Museum in San Francisco. The title of my artwork is Afro Goddess and I chose that name for her it's because most of my pieces focused on the hairstyles of African-American women. Myself being an African-American woman um, can relate to different, the various hairstyles that we wear, the diversity of our hair, and just the overall magic of how our hair is phenomenally beautiful. The majority of my pieces are uh, portraits, and I've been an artist pretty much all my life, uh, meaning that I am a art teacher. So. I work in a public school. I teach art to elementary school kids. They are very proud to see their actual art teacher display artwork inside of a museum. I heard about the De Young Open through a good friend of mine and I submitted uh, my artwork. When I got the news that my work was selected, I was so happy. <laughs> I remember walking into the museum with my artwork and I was so nervous because I didn't know what was going to happen, but at the same time I was excited and just looking around and looking at all the artwork that was already there and I was welcomed with open arms. They treated my artwork like it was a masterpiece, which it is, right? And um, that I remember that day and I remember the day of the opening and seeing my artwork on the wall inside the museum uh, made me feel proud. It made me feel accomplished. I've worked very hard. I've been doing art, like I said, for over 23 years now. And I'm finally seeing how all the hard work really does pay off. When I saw it on the wall that day, you know, I just, it was the most amazing feeling ever. And besides that, I was on TV. <laughs> this thing has ever happened in your career? This is the biggest thing that has ever happened in my career as an artist. The tools that I use um, when I'm creating my pieces is pastels. So I use oil pastels, I use soft pastels, and I use some acrylic paint. Okay, so here is an example of my tools or my supplies that I, I use to create my pieces. I typically use my finger when I'm blending and applying the soft pastel. So this is uh, the little soft pastel cakes. And then I also use the soft pastel chalk. And in certain areas on my composition, I will also include oil pastels. And these are just your regular oil pastels that you can buy at Michael's. Um, and I just like to do different things with them, um, just play around with them and figure out, you know, color, color schemes and what colors look best next to each other. So today, I'm going to take you step by step on how to create a portrait. Um, your portrait can be a cartoon portrait. Um, it could be a realistic portrait. It's basically up to you. So let's get started. Hi guys, the supplies that you're gonna need are pencil, eraser, and paper. Next, hold your pencil in a comfortable position to begin sketching lightly. Imagine the shape of an egg. We're going to lightly sketch the shape of an egg. The egg has the larger part of the egg at the top and the smaller part of the egg at the bottom. Once you have your egg shaped the way you want it, use your eraser to clean up your lines. Then add two curved lines for the neck. Now divide the head shape 
lengthwise in equal halves with a center line drawn from the crown to the chin. Use your pencil to measure the width of each half so that they are equal. Next, draw a horizontal line half the length of the egg-shaped head. Use your pencil to measure to make sure the top half is equal to the bottom half. If it is not, take your eraser, erase that line, and make your corrections. The top half should be equal to the bottom half. The left side should be equal to the right side. Next, the nose line is half the length from the eye line to the base of the chin. Next, use your pencil to measure your new halves to make sure they are equal. Next, the mouth line is half the distance from the bottom of the nose to the chin. Measure your new halves to make sure the mouth sits in the center. Next, your eyebrow line will sit slightly above the eye line. Okay, let's add the eyes. Depending on the width of your egg shape, determine a nice width for your eyes. You should be able to fit five eye shapes across the width of the face. Here's a different view to see the five eye widths. Did you know that the width of your nose is equal to the width of one eye? So measure that out, bring that guideline down, and there's your nose. Here's another fun fact. The outermost parts of the mouth align with the centers of your eyes. Next, let's use those guidelines to create the nostrils of your nose. And also, let's draw in the tip of the nose. It's just a simple curved line. Let's move back to the mouth. Let's work on the top lip. Imagine the letter M. Think of it as a flattened, extended M. This is your top lip. And your bottom lip is simply a wide curved line. Let's go back to the eye line. Now within those two guidelines that we created for the eyes, you're going to draw a curved line at the top of that line and a curved line at the bottom of that line. And you're going to do that for each eye. Then you should take your pencil to measure the width of each eye to make sure that they are equal. Don't forget to add the eyelid. We need eyelids on both eyes, eyelids. Next, the eyeball is just a simple half circle. The reason why it's a half circle is because the eyelid is covering a small portion of the eyeball. Now let's add the bottom lid. The bottom lid will slightly cover your circle as well. Next, from the inside of the eye, we're going to draw a line to create the bridge of the nose. From the bridge of the nose, draw a curved line. That line will lead you to the eyebrows. Sketch in the shape of an eyebrow on each side. Don't be afraid to use your eraser to correct any mistakes. I'm also going to use my eraser to erase the lines that were inside of the eyeball shape. Let's move to the ears. The ear line sits within the guidelines from the eye to the base of the nose. The outer contour is formed like the letter C. It's wider at the top and narrow at the bottom. Then you can add the detail that's on the inside of the ear with just simple curved lines. Next, everyone's hairline is different, so just create a freeform line here. Let's go back to the eyes and create the pupil. This is just another smaller circle, half circle, and then you're gonna shade it in with your pencil, slightly leaving some part of it white for the highlight. Let's add eyelashes. The eyelashes should come from the eyelid. Don't make them too long and don't make too many. Let's create a hairstyle. At this point, you can make your person 
a male or a female. Notice that I slightly came above the head to create the hairstyle because our hair has volume. You can now erase any lines that you don't need to create your hairstyle. Notice that I also erased the original line for the egg shape. We're all done guys. Use your eraser to clean up all of your guidelines and now you can add more detail to your portrait. It's been fun guys.